Hi, I'm Christy Grail, editor of POB. I'm at the 2011 Survey Summit. I'm here with Martin Vandenbroek, who is the managing director of Gateway. They have the X100 UAV. And Martin, this is your first um, U.S. conference. What kind of reception have you been getting here? Well, it's actually been great for us. It's our first U.S. presence um, since we've only been commercial for about a good half a year. And the response we're getting here is very overwhelming for us. It's very positive. Now, of course, you have the FAA restrictions that you're faced with here in the U.S. What kind of potential does the system have in the U.S. given those restrictions? Well, um, it struck me that there's quite a bit of government agencies here or universities that, that, that can get a certificate of authorization for using this system. Uh, so I do see good potential. And next to that, we also have good reasons to believe that the FAA will loosen up its regulations to allow a um, similar type of um, UAVs and uh, civil airspace. Okay, what about, um, where do you see this technology going, given the current surveying and mapping market? Where do you see it headed? Well, obviously I see a very bright future for this type of um, devices. Uh, we really um, see the Gateway X100 as a tool rather than as um, a UAV or UAS or um, a drone. It's, it's a piece of equipment for a surveyor. And as we're making it better and adding more software tools to it, um, we think it's going to find its, um, its way for a lot of applications, ranging from construction over mining to precision farming, um, incident assessments, uh, all of that. Do you see this as a displacement technology, maybe replacing um, some of the current tools in photogrammetry, or is it more of an add-on technology? I think for both um, photogrammetric uh, equipment and for terrestrial surveying equipment, it's more an add-on rather than a replacement. Um, for photogrammetry, it will, um, you know, complement large-scale or manned um, uh, surveys that are done right now, uh, because they allow this allows for small size uh, areas to be scanned, where otherwise it's uh, not cost-effective to do that. And for the terrestrial work, it's uh, also been um, an add-on, where because we can survey where surveyors sometimes cannot come or where it is too dangerous to to go. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Martin. You're welcome.